Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Paola. If you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. I am glad to be with you today. If you are a returning watcher, thank you again. Welcome back. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a little review slash like try it out type of video so i hope that you enjoy it i know it's been a bit since i've made a video i apologize i've had videos made i've made some but i just don't find myself uploading them i guess i a little critical of myself i am sorry i'm trying not to be you know what i thought what else and to make a video of something that i recently bought and I absolutely loved. It's changed my morning routines like crazy. I now look a little more forward to doing more things um, because back then I did not look forward to doing my hair. I mean, as you can tell, it's gonna be a hair review. I'm so excited. So I don't wanna keep the intro long. Let's get started. I recently bought this right here. The Hot Tools, it's a long name. One Step Detachable Blowout Volumizer. This. So I'm sure you guys have already seen a lot of reviews on the Revlon one. Um, I was in between both of them. I didn't know which one to get, so let me just kind of share with you guys a little bit before I start. I had a blow dryer that I normally use. It's just a blow dryer and I use a round brush. It's been my thing for years. That's how I blow dry my hair. Um, and it recently went out on me. So I was like, should I buy a new one or should I try out that one tool, which is the Revlon one? Um, I've had a lot of friends and just people have told me that they like that product. and so. I was debating on it, so I was looking through reviews and I was like, okay, which one do I want? Do I want this one? Do I, does it, for me, does it work for me and my hair? My hair's short, it's curly. I mean, is it going to, like, you know, you just have all these questions. I came across this one and the pink one, the Revlon one, and I was like, what are the pros and cons of each one? So it looks, and it turned out that this one was always a little bit more liked by the people who purchased it because of one thing now this one thing really got me because i need it so a lot of people were saying that this one had more grip than the revlon one so it held on to the hair a little bit better than the other one so i was like you know what i'm sold on that because i need grip i used to work at a, a blow dry bar and if you know you know that you're supposed to have that tight grip to blow dry someone's hair because you need it to smooth it out and so if you don't have that grip it, it doesn't really get as smooth so i was like you know what i'm sold i'll try this one before i start talking even more let's get started what i did today was i used a uh heat uh, blow, dry, blow dry primer and um, it's the Biolage one. I ran out of my treatment so this is what I've been using. This does protect the hair from the heat so you do need some heat protection. This is what it looks like. My hair is on there so I apologize for that but this is what it looks like. You have the, the off, the cool, the low and the high setting. You just turn it. Um, you have the brush itself with the heater inside and then this is my favorite part a grip you can grip it very well which is what i absolutely love it makes my life so much easier i'll let you guys see what it looks like as i'm doing it i absolutely love it and i'll give my opinion on it too as i am blow drying okay so this is what my hair looks like right now just before i get started i wanted you guys to see it it's curly it's like medium not thin not coarse it's just like a medium texture um and it's curly so i do like i said need something that's gonna uh smooth out my hair and yeah, there you go it's not all the way dry but it's it's like a damp so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pin up my hair or put it up in a little ponytail and i just did a, a small section and let's get started so I'm gonna do the low setting just because this one does get a little hot. It probably gets hot to like right here when it's on the high setting. So not too loud. It's okay. Grab it.
Okay, so this is the first section. It feels very smooth. It's It moves. It has like a like movement to it, I guess is the best way to say it. It feels bouncy. Let me give you a little history on my hair. So when I would do a blow dry, it was with the round brush and the blow dryer. This side would always look great. I have good angling, I could do this. This side on the other hand, always look very dry, frizzy, and it would stay stiff. All right, I'll just, just kind of show you how I used to do it before is I would have the blow dryer on one hand and then the round brush, let's pretend this was my round brush, and I would just grab the hair and then I would blow dry it. But you know, it was very hard because this side always came out nice and then it would, get to this side and it was just hard for me i think maybe the angling wasn't the best as to how i did it so it would always stay more stiff and dry and just frizzy it would never look good so i i always just assumed that it was just because my hair was damaged but no it's just because i didn't know how to angle it with this one i am able to control it to move it to angle it it's great i i'm enjoying it you know even when i worked at a blow dry bar because i worked at a blow dry bar, bar for a while i learned how to do it but doing it on someone else is not the same as doing it to yourself so you know this has been a huge game changer for me because gripping this has been the best thing and easiest thing to be able to do so you're just turning it turning it and then if you wanted to do the other side and if you just want to go straight down so it's it's really cool. Let's go on to the next section. That way you guys can see a little bit more. I'm going to take it down. And I'll do about this much right here. And we'll get started. We'll go on to the low setting just because it does get really hot and my air is right here. That was a little hot because I had it on the high setting. Normally on your face right here, you want to have it a little bit lower, but that is what this section looks like. It really just does smooth it out. Look at this. It gives it some bend. So if you have longer hair, this would probably be even more amazing because, or maybe even just straighter hair because my hair is curly. So it's always going to hold on to this, this uh, wave or this curl that um happens at the at the ends but that's what the back looks like it just brings in more shine obviously a good blowout will always bring more shine and it just feels like it moves it's bouncy it feels great one thing i did want to say was that there is two of these there is this small one this is considered the small one and let me just see if this one yeah, so if you notice, it'll it'll say um, 
where is it? Smaller size. So this is the smaller brush right here. There's a bigger one, I believe, for like longer haired girls and more volume, I believe, is what the big one is for. So I figured this one's for short to medium. For me, it would take me a while to even get to medium length hair. So I'm okay with this one. This one was perfect for me and it's just easier to manage. This is good for short to medium hair. So onto the last section, which is one of my favorite parts because this is where you get your, uh, your volume and the movement. So I'm just gonna, Sorry, it's probably gonna be a little too high up. We're gonna do the high setting. dry bar we did do like a mohawk, mohawk section toward towards the middle and with those we would set them so setting them it gives you a lot of volume so what you can do is you can blow dry this in the heat the heat setting and then once you're done cool it down with the cool shot and then it'll give you a lot of volume whereas if you don't set it it will fall it'll get loose on you and it will get flat so heat setting here And then hold it to the cool one, the cool shot. And just let it get cool. Look at that. That's what happens when you leave the cool shot on there. <laughs> it will, your volume will stay because you set it like that. But look at that movement. Wow. Next section right here. We'll leave this one here. We'll do, we'll do the heat. but let's do our last section, okay? And then obviously you could tease it right here at the top to give you more volume. High setting or low because it's the face. I have a lot of baby hairs right here, so it's gonna take some maybe straightening it. But it's okay, I don't mind it because I always straighten it anyways. And then once you're done, pull it. Pull it. 
pull it, pull it. So another thing too is wherever it parts, that's kind of like your natural part line. So let's see, my natural part line is right there. Ooh, I had not done the the cooling it down at the front before. I mean, I've done it, but not with this tool. But y'all look at this. <gasps> I cannot get over it. It makes a huge difference when you set it with the cool shop so can you imagine longer hair how this would look let me just take a quick look oh my gosh wow this is really cool i'm telling you this is the first time i've done the cool shot but it makes a huge difference and it's gonna, it's gonna stay because you cooled it down like that. You set it. So this is what it looks like. And for me, normally, I would probably go in there and straighten these ends just because I, I don't mind that it's, it curls out or in. I just like to show my length. My length is all the way down here. And so when it curves or bends, it doesn't show length but it doesn't look bad. Look at that. Let's look at the back. Obviously, maybe some teasing as well. You know, maybe at the top. My hair gets really flat. Overall. Y'all, what are you thinking about this? What do you think about this product? Tell me. I, I enjoy it so much. It really makes me look forward to doing my hair in the morning because I, if there's one thing that I didn't want to do in the morning, it was blow drying my hair. I hated doing it because I, I just never, first of all, I never liked the outcome. It never looked this good. Even when I did uh, do it with the cool shot. And like I said, it's just different doing your own hair and doing someone else's hair. I love doing other blow dries. I love blow drying other people's hair. I love getting that curl in there, that bend, but it's not the same doing your own. So y'all, this is the product. I really enjoy it. I'm so happy that I purchased it. I was not going to. The bristles in the inside are what, it matters a lot because that's what smooths out the hair where this is what, what detangles it and makes the hair get through. But so far, I mean, I love it. What do you guys think? Like I said, normally I would straighten it, but I'll leave it like this because I'm actually really liking it. Y'all tell me what you think about it. Look at the volume. I'd probably go in there and straighten just a little bit because then it'll get flat the little baby hairs, the little ones that I have here, but. Yeah, I'll let y'all look at it one more time. I hope you guys can see. I like it. What I like to do when I'm done with my blow dries is I like to do just a tad bit of this Verb Ghost Oil. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. It's a really good product. It smells amazing. This is for smoothing, the shine, and it just defrizzes. So I just do a little bit just because it's a thick consistency. And I just put some oil in through the ends a tad bit on the bangs. It smells so good and just brings out that shine. I like that I have volume. I never have volume.
perfect. Now, if you wanted to, just straighten it, and you're all set. And that is the Hot Tools One Step Detachable Blowout Volumizer. So, I'll leave y'all with this video. I hope that you liked it, that you enjoyed it, that you want to go get one of these because, girl, your hair gonna look good. I love it. I love how it makes my hair look, feel, it shines to this. I think this basically really showed itself. It's a great product. I recommend it. If you guys like this video, if you guys like this Hot Tools product, give this video a like, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're ready to go buy one, comment down below. Let me know that you're gonna go do that. If you know, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you already have one, if you have any like uh, suggestions, any advice on how to use it even better, let me know. I'd love to read. But please comment down below on any video suggestions that you may have for me to make. I will love to read them. I love reading the comments. And for now, I'll leave you at this. I hope that you liked it. Thank you so much for staying until the end. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all my older subscribers. I appreciate you. Thank you. I hope that you guys have a blessed day. And don't forget to um, subscribe. Thank you so much. See you guys soon. Bye.